What is going on, guys? Your boy Guns here, and I know, I know, the beard is gone. The beard is gone, guys. The beard is actually gone. You guys might be wondering, what the hell? Where's our streamer guns at? Um, <laughs> I had to shave because of work, guys. I had to pick up a new position, so I had to be freshly shaven. You know, and T5s don't feed, them, feed themselves, so we got to do what we got to do. So, what is today's video? Today's video is going to be on my account review. A lot of you guys have been... Um, have been requesting me to do an account review so what the purpose of this video is not necessarily to show off or you know or even fully talking about my whole rec account even though i am but the purpose of this video for that i want you guys to get is to get into the mindset of how i look at my account and how i'm trying to optimize it um as you can see here you know i'm at 23 million merits um in terms of power to merit ratios i'm definitely like you know a top fighter but with that being said in order to get there you got to make sure that you're properly optimizing your account so starting off with our more, more info button our historical highest power is 94 million power um we've been hoarding speed ups for like four months now guys i'm not even kidding like four or five months um you can see back in season one i did a bunch of city sieges and i stopped because you know they're not those deaths are not worth we have 760 million units killed, which is definitely up there compared to a lot of people. 669,000 units dead. Uh, four, like 350,000 of those were from defending a pass against BDO. We probably shouldn't have done that, but we had some fun. Um, units healed, 208. As you can see here, my units killed to units healed ratio is a nice 3.0 and above. Um... You know, I'm not the biggest farmer, but I definitely make sure I get my mana. I got 1.2 billion mana gathered, which is pretty insane. That amount is pretty insane. You need about a billion mana, roughly, like per season. I'm not even kidding. Like if you're going to be actively fighting and, and doing your thing. Um, I, can't, I can't even take myself serious without a beard, bro. Rip the beard, man. Rip the beard. Anyways, trying to focus up here. So that's kind of the progression that we're at. Um, let's see, how long have I been playing the game, you might be wondering. I've been playing the game 434 days, guys, consecutive logins. So, you know, a year and some change, right? A year and some change, and we're not planning on stopping anytime soon. Um, going on over to my heroes. This is the juicy part, all right? We got our Gorish, Hosk, Thea, Lilia, Bertrand, Skogel, Tohar, uh, Kanara, Valen, Indus, Theodore, Bakshi, all awakened. Um, I don't have Bakshi and Theodore six star for obvious reasons. Our cal the cavalry are just not putting in the work that I'm looking for, you know. But my Kanara Hosk, hundred percent, like that for see for a bunch of seasons bef before I got. Um, Margaret and Zeta, they were they were definitely the ones um, doing it up for me. Lilia Thea is outperforming my Burt Tohar right now, uh, which is interesting in terms of merits, right? But I do still think that Burt Tohar are getting more kills because of that orb. The orb is just absolutely filthy. So right now I'm in an interesting spot, guys, because I'm in a little bit of an identity crisis. I'm not gonna lie, because as you guys know, I am a, ma a main mage, and I still am based off my total um, uh, my legions troop count. I'll show you guys that right now. So originally, one of my main goals is like I'm a I'm a be a main mage, right? And and then slowly work on side projects to have one awakened uh, a hero pairing for each troop type, right? So we've achieved that now. So now we're gonna be able to focus on all the meta marches. Um, and I'm looking at going more towards the hybrid gang, as you guys can see. Uh, I'm working on my mag. She's triple five one. Zay is five five three two. We have the wheel coming later, so that's gonna come in clutch. Um, so I'm looking at becoming a hybrid, guys. I'm looking at becoming a hybrid. Um, the tricky part is, though, 
I'm also enjoying my Gorish Skogel, but I don't have that many tanks. So I'm constantly doing a bunch of, you know, I know a lot of you guys fought me out in the field, especially FS, DBB, RNR, Hoot, then the other FS. Um, but I really don't have that many tanks. I was just RSS healing like crazy. Um, and the units killed that I have here are really from one season. 28 million PvP kills, not bad. Mag Zay, though. What are they at? 27 million PvP kills. Not bad. So, where am I going to go? I'm thinking I'm going to go more towards the hybrid, guys. I'm going to go all out on hybrid. So, essentially, I'm going to have my 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 masters and in, in mages and archers. And then, like, a bachelors and in, in tanks, right? So, that's kind of that's the, the way that I'm going. So, I think the cav ones, I might not invest in them. However... Guys, who knows how crazy they're going to be when they come out, right? What if they're actually nuts, you know? Someone was saying they're going to walk on, they're going to have to walk on water to make a difference. <laughs> so that's where we're heading. We're heading towards being a, a hybrid player. Um, bringing you guys over here to my speed ups. Or to my, let's go ahead and go over my artifacts. With me going archers, all right, we have, we have a, Fully six starred level five spear bone torque. We have max max rattle spear, max infernal flame, um, max mirage orb, which is still my favorite, which is still my favorite, um, artifact. Only a level three phoenix eye, which I don't really use, so it doesn't matter. Level three gold crest, level like level four storm of arrows. All the all like the all like the gold chest ones are pretty much uh five or level five except for my heart of kamasi and at least the ones that i care about right um as far as like future artifacts that i'm trying to get i'm probably going to go for the gilded crossbow um just start working on that like not like go crazy on it but you know start getting some copies at least right now though i'm i've been using the heart of kamasi and it's been doing good for those of you guys that have been watching my live streams you've been seeing me get 100k merit reports on the regular right um and yeah i've been using mirage or pretty well we'll see we'll see what the future brings like i said i'm probably gonna go for the tanks because one of the things with the tanks is i was running out of stamina very quickly um so i need another pair man i need another pair so coming over to my legions all right um my knights a lot of them are i have one point I have 1.1 million wounded right now. So I have about 600,000 knights. I have about 850,000 vestals. And that's pretty much the difference there of what's it's what's in the hospital. Um so as you can see here, I'm already heading towards being a hybrid, right? Between my celestials and my vestals, I have about 2 million magic units and then 700,000 ballistas but then i i use my um my elixir capacity here at 767 i let that buff up so once we go fight i technically have 1.4 million archers and 2 million mages right because the majority of my elixir goes to my mag zay so some people are like wait are you main mage if you're main mage then why are you doing the archers like man i love merits bro so i'm always gonna prioritize the marches that are giving me the most the most punch for my account you know what i mean in terms of merits um so uh come bring you guys over to my speed ups bring you guys over to my speed ups so as you guys can tell i have a decent amount of speed ups let me turn my camera off for a little bit all right we have last time i did the math on my speed ups guys i think i had like 20 something like maybe like 22 million uh power that i can push in troops um so we have a decent amount saved up and we're just gonna keep hoarding guys we're just gonna keep hoarding um probably wait till we can push about 50 million power and then we can push like i really don't have any rush um like like i said you guys see my merits i've been i've been happy with my account um it's all about a lot of min maxing stuff so i'm looking i'm looking to win not necessarily win first place but at least get top 10 for greatest heights and be able to um get like a six skin dude get a six skin um for example, where's our, our R5? 
look at these cities, bro. They're just so sick, man. You know? So I, I'm thinking that I'm going to get some of these right here. Probably go with that. Um, sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of my plans with my speed ups. That's my plan with my speed ups. So now let's take you guys over to my pets. Same thing with the pets, guys. I'm focusing on... Right now, I'm, I'm trying to build up like a decent little sand lizard. I'm trying to build up a decent little sand lizard here. Um, nothing too crazy though, because I do expect the new pet to support Mag Zay. Kind of how the new pet supported um, uh, Gorge Skogul. However, I do still think the Venomous Lizard is better. So anyways, going into the pets. I'll show you guys my top pets. Um, starting off with the Night Rock. This one was minimal investment here. Minimal investment. It's been doing great for me with my Mag Zay. I still need to build up my Sand Lizard. Um, this is my Snow Peak Rock. For my Kanara Hosk. This is my pet here for my calves. For my Theodore Bakshi. This is my pet for uh, Bird Tohar. Right, it's pretty good. It's a pretty solid pet right here. Probably my best pet, actually. Um, this is just another... Another Sapphire Phaedric there. And then one of my other main Sapphire Phaedrics. Level 2. Two-star talent. Two-star talent on Venomous Lizard. So now I'm just kind of working on my Sand Lizard a little bit. Chilling. Um, and we'll see what happens. I'm kind of stuck with what I want to do, guys. Like I said... Focusing a little bit on the Sand Lizard to at least get a, a one-star talent here. And, you know, keep working on it so you see what we can do. Um, so that's it with the pets. As far as the pets, guys, um, some of you guys know I shop on the Pluto Mall, right? So for those of you guys that don't know, this is how the Pluto Mall looks like, right? You come here, you click... Uh, Call of Dragons and you just walk through and you get about 10% back that 10% that I get back guys That's what I use to buy my pet exchange tokens. So some of you guys are probably like holy crap. Those are some pretty those are some pretty nutty uh, pretty nutty pets that he has there and That's that's the way that I got them guys That's the way that I got them was just through that extra 10% every once in a while um, I'll spend and and get those up there Um but yeah, let's see. What else? What else could we cover with the account? What else could we cover? Told you guys my plans that I, I'm looking to be a hybrid with a miner in tanks. Um. Okay, as far as what I'm leveling up, as you guys know that I'm leveling up my Mag Zay right now. After my Mag Zay, guys, I'm gonna level up, um, Fragar. right? Because some of you guys know I like switching over to Spring Warden and do, and running around with the flying chickens. So. Having Fragar pretty uh, like up there would be. I mean, she has a very long life ahead of her because she's a flyer, right? Especially when I switch over to Spring Warden. Eventually, I I want to have like five flying chicken marches, just going around flapping their wings on people, you know. So that'd be pretty cool. On top of that, it'll help out with my Syndrion if I do go for even more archers and I can run a triple archer. That'd be insane. Being able to have Syndrion Fragar to the lineup as well alongside mag zay um they'll be they'll be cooking pretty good especially especially since i plan on training about three million archer or not training or getting at least to the three million archer march or max that'd be pretty good to have to sustain two archer marches for a while um and then after fragar i'm gonna go for Sindrion. now i as far as the calves and the tanks guys it's very it's like eh, are we gonna invest in it are we not i don't know we'll find out you guys already know we're gonna do a bunch of testing and kind of go from there you know i don't think i'm gonna spend the wheel right away for the new calves i mean i'm at least gonna unlock them right because you get a pretty good value with the with the stars there so um Feronda would be cool right because of the whole flying chicken stuff but you know Little by little, right? As far as, you know, Fragar gives me that utility of being able to be art using my archers and be able to use my Spring Warden uh, faction and switch over to those flying chickens. 
Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? That's pretty much about it, guys. Okay, I'll go into my budget a little bit. I'll go into my budget a little bit because some of you guys are probably wondering, like, holy crap, like, how much money has he spent on his account? Um, so I have a budget of about five hundred dollars. Um, roughly. Let me see. Let me see. Let me let me give, let me give you guys the actual number. I was doing so obviously in the beginning guys I sold a bunch of cryptocurrency that I had and that's how I was able to push the T5 so quickly drop seven eight thousand dollars very quickly boom 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 and then after that I'm like all right I need to chill because if I don't chill this is going to become um like an addiction you know that I can't sustain so I need to set up set myself with a budget and try to keep to it okay so right now um I'm looking at about I'm looking at the max $830, guys. $830. And that's if I buy the artifact all the time, which doesn't happen. So it'll range from $500 to $830, right? $830 is where kind of around where I will max out. Um, and then towards the end of the season, um, I definitely drop the bag because I, def I make sure that I get this Blizzard journey. This one's really good. Um. Yeah, that's so. That that's kind of how my budget is, guys. Um. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Once again, roast me in the comments about my me not having a beard. Do I look? Do I look like a baby now, guys? Do I look like a baby now? <laughs> I look way younger, dude. I don't know. Even my wife's like, bruh. <laughs> but. Hey, it is what it is, guys. You know, you got to do what you got to do in life. This is going to be the new look for a while uh, until I get the green light that I can grow my beard back again. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know a lot of you guys have been uh, requesting to see an account review of my account. So now we finally did one. And I look forward to continuing doing these more often. At least monthly would be cool. Um, and... Yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like for your boy. If you're enjoying the content, make sure you drop a sub as well. Turn on that bell notification. Let you guys know when I go live and drop a new video. You guys know that we've been going ham on live streams, right? Right now, I'm kind of just healing. we kind of been in the stalemate area. I've just been healing. Um, I've been coming over and helping these guys out a little bit. But make sure you guys tune into the streams. I stream my primary time for streaming is from like 1600 to about 2000 UTC, right? So about four hours. Now on my days off on Friday and Saturday, I'll stream a very long time. <laughs> so those of you guys that have been tuning into the live streams and supporting and those of you guys that are also members I appreciate you guys. You guys are supporting my long, my lifelong dream of being a full-time content creator. Um, and we're getting one step closer every day, guys. So appreciate you guys for all the love. That's going to be it for this video. It's your boy, Guns. I'm out. Peace.